we're making progress, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. Five, four, three, two, one. Only is go. <laughs> <laughs>
that would work great there, but the problem I've got is my um, brake pedal hits where the starter motor goes on a left hand drive car, that would be fine. On this one unfortunately, I've got to go back to the drawing board. That would have been really, really good if I could have just done that. But unfortunately, hot rodding. Righto, I've just nutted out a uh, cross member which I'm whittling together at the moment. It'll utilise the original cross member mounts. Um, and I'll use these, so uh, let's show you what I'm doing. So basically, there's three parts. Um, I've got to, it's got to have a step in it to allow for the back of the cross member there. Right, I was in the middle of explaining what I was going to do, and the battery went flat, seems to be a usual occurrence. Um, but anyhow, I've whittled up that uh, cross member. She's sitting in there. And it's doing the trick. Bolted in to the original mounting points for the original cross member. And if anyone wants to know, those um, gearbox mounts are out of a XK to XP Fiacan gearbox. So that's what I'm using for that. So right now, we have all the running gear in place. Diffs in place, gearboxes in place, engines in place. We're in. So I can finally mount this cab. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slide this cab forward, work out exactly where it's going to go, and um, nail it in. How's that Swiss cheese? That's another job. Um, that's as far forward as I can go without it touching. Um, she's pretty close. But that's it. Unless I start trimming the firewall back, which I don't think I'll have to do. Um, I'm pretty happy with where that is, I think. So I've got a couple of other sums to work out. But plenty of room for my fan, alternator, Distributor, radiator, all that jazz. Room for my fuel pump up there. Um, I think we're pretty good. So the next job I have is to nail down this um, cab in the right spot. Make sure it's um, bolted down securely. And then we need to work out what we're doing with the steering column, the brake and clutch pedals, the pedal box. And so right now, there's Rugby League on the TV, which I'm going to go and watch. So I'm going to wrap it up for today. It's not the end of the video. We'll come back and work on this thing again tomorrow. See you then. Righto, I'm back. It's another day. It's late in the afternoon. I've um, welded on some tabs to bolt the cab down. So a little bit hard to see and it was hard to film being in such a small area. But I have a few of the um, tabs sorted out. I've still got to sort out the front but the cab's in place. Um, the next thing I want to do now is decide the big question do we go with fenders or no fenders? Now in Australia, especially New South Wales, you've got to run fenders regardless. It just, it'll just mean if I run no fenders it's going to have to have cycle guards which I'm not a fan of but they can be done to look okay. I ended up putting them on Doris. The mongrel had cycle guards on there. It also ran full fenders. I like both looks, but on a pickup, I'm kind of leaning towards fenders. You now, there's a few things I'm going to have to change. If I do run fenders, I'm obviously going to have to modify the front fenders to suit this chassis because they're not going to fit, which I've explained in previous episodes. But I'm also going to have to move where I've mounted my split wishbone because that's going to be in the way. And that's not hard. I've just got to move it underneath and I can weld some brackets to the new gearbox cross member which isn't a big deal but I think the next thing that we need to do is get this thing outside get some perspective and let's just see what we reckon it's gonna look good either way but I don't know being that this is a little bit higher it's not slammed fenders oh, I don't know um, 
I'm in two minds, so we've got to work that out. What do you guys reckon? Hit me up. So on that note, I'm going to end this video here. We've got quite a bit done. Um, the further you get into a project like this, you don't see as much of a dynamic change. So that's just the way things are with these kind of things. But next video, we're going to get this thing outside. I might even drag it out the front. We'll get some proper perspective on it. We'll drag the fenders out. We'll mock them up. We'll see what it looks like. And we'll make a decision together. How's that sound? All right. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.